It's Wednesdays with Wade. San Antonio Brahma's head coach Wade Phillips joins the Blitz every Wednesday for an inside look at your San Antonio Brahma's. Now, here's the Blitz with Wade Phillips. It is the Blitz here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. He's Joe Ryan Eagle. I'm Jay Semenix. Before we get to it. Head coach Wade Phillips of the San Antonio Brahmas. We're getting people qualified every hour at the uh, at this time, 2 33, 34, 35, 30, to uh, win those ACL weekend at two at three day wristbands. And we've got trivia that we're getting you qualified for. Now, if you don't win them, you can always buy them at aclfest.com. But the trivia question today, since Wade Phillips is with us, it's going to be a Wade Phillips related question. Now, now, coach, you can't answer this. Uh, you, this that, that would be unfair. Uh, what position did Wade Phillips play in college and at what university? First person to correctly tell that to James Pledger at 210 656 ESPN 656 37 at 76 will get qualified for those three day ACL Fest wristbands. Coach, you can't you can't answer that one. Coach Wade Phillips joining us now on the Buyers Barricades guest line. Yeah, I think I know what it is, though. <laughs> I, 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 I would, I would hope so. so. You know, when trying to come up with Wade Phillips trivia, Coach, I learned your first name isn't actually Wade. That's right. That's right. Yeah, uh, my first name is Harold, but I've never been called Harold, so uh, I've always gone gone by what I guess. That's what they wanted to call me, so I don't know why they didn't just name me Wade. <laughs> Leave the other part out. It, 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 was that what, like if you if when growing up, coach? If 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 your mother said Harold, did you know you were in trouble? No, I don't think she ever called me Harold. That I that I remember, you know. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, it, they just discarded it. I was named after a couple of guys that my dad worked on the ranch with. Uh, one of them was obviously Harold, and the other guy was Wade. So, uh, but he must have liked Wade better because that's all they ever called me. They ever call you. So, like on your driver's license, when you like uh, are trying to get on an airplane, it says Harold, and they look at you and we're like, "You're Wade no, Phillips. You're not Harold." Yeah, I don't put it on my driver's license or or basically any of my stuff except, um, I guess, Social Security or something like that. But, but you know, on Harold, my driver's license it says Wade Phillips. Harold just doesn't have the same ring to it, Coach. I'm glad you stuck with Wade. <laughs> that, that just sounds much better. Wade Phillips. Wade Phillips. Okay. Right. Yeah. Good to me. Yeah. See, if you lose a game, you're Harold. Uh, yeah. but, but winners are named Wade, man. <laughs> W's in the name. There and, man, go. did you get a hell of a W uh, this past weekend down in Houston. Yeah, that was a great win. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> they're all different, obviously, but uh, – you know, we came through when it, when it counted, and uh, you know, one of the one of the things that happened that a lot of people don't realize, you know, we scored, we scored, we're nine points behind, we score, and then we get the three points uh, to tie the game, and then we're we're going out on the kickoff, and we only have ten guys out there because one of our players was hurt that we didn't know was hurt. So Bryce Thompson says, "I'll go in, I'll go in on the kickoff team." Now he hadn't played on the kickoff team you know, the whole year, he's the guy that knocks the ball out that, that uh, we recover on the on the, on the uh, kickoff. So, I mean, I don't know their state or something happens. I, it's uh, hard to explain, but things things work our way. Well, I tell you what, Coach, and it was an exciting finish. You guys scored 12 points in the final three minutes, and I saw a video of you after you guys uh, won the game. And, and what I love about you, and Jason and I were talking about this, Coach, is that you get as excited and passionate as any of the players do. And I just love to see that from you on the sidelines. That, 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 but that kind of game was just exciting to be a part of, I'm sure. Yeah, it really was. You don't want them to be that exciting. <laughs> but, but uh, you know, you'd like to win easy and all that stuff. But all these games and these teams are all close. and. Um, you know, with a running clock too. I mean, it, you don't have that many chances, so it's hard to it's hard to win by a big score. So, if you win by you know seven or ten, you you've had a big win. Wade Phillips joining us here on the Blitz, head coach of the San Antonio Brahmas, talking about that thrilling win last week. And again, the the final three minutes were incredible. Uh, the first part of that game, and this is what I love talking to uh, or talking about with with coaches because. 
The offense was struggling, but you had two red zone turnovers. Uh, you know, and fans are like, man, that offense has to get on track here and there. When you graded out the film, uh, was it as bad as it seemed, or is it just, man, some unlucky turnovers, some untimely mistakes really kept that game a lot closer than it should have been? Yeah, I mean, yeah, anytime you fumble twice inside the turnover inside the 10 yard line and the other team gets it, that, you know, that's, uh, you know, it's two opportunities for touchdowns. And even field goals would have been, you know, put us in a good position. So, um, yeah, turnovers can do that. Uh, and actually, we were playing real well offensively early in the game like that. And we had 100 something yards passing almost in the first quarter. So it looked like we were going to have a great game. But, you know, all games are different. You know, turnovers obviously uh, can make a difference. And, uh, and of course, us. Uh, getting a turnover at the end of the game made the difference too. Yeah, that was uh, that was exciting and and very fortunate. I mean, you know, you got to have a little luck to win games, uh, especially when you maybe not playing your best. Coach, when you make a a, a change at a position, um, like quarterback, for example, is that uh, what makes what determines that? Is that just you need a spark, or what determines that? Yeah, I mean. And, and Quentin started out really good. Like I said, he had 100 something yards passing in the first quarter and a half. And looked like a 300 or 400 yard passing game. Uh, and it's like, I guess it's like baseball and a pitcher, you know, that sometimes they start out good and then, you know, they get out of rhythm or I don't know what happens, but, you know, you have to bring in a reliever because things aren't, aren't going well. So he had a stretch there that it didn't look like it was going to turn around. Um, and I, I know he was getting frustrated, which which makes it tougher, you know. So um, it looked like our, our chances, were, you know, we need to try to do something different. And uh, luckily, Kevin Hogan uh, did a great job for us. Now, we ran the ball on that drive, too. But, but Kevin made some nice throws that, that uh, uh, you know, helped us get down there. And then he made a great throw on the, on the uh, three-point play. So, uh, you know, he helped. He certainly helped win the game. But the thing about Kevin, and he's only been there a week, you know, he'd only been there a week. So he, he only had a few plays in his, um, that we got him ready to play. And luckily we did that well, and he did it well. Um, so, uh, but Quentin, we still believe in him. I mean, he's a, he's a really talented player. And I think this is going to, um, I think this is going to help him because, like I say, he started out so well and then, kind of dropped off. I think, uh, you know, well, just like John Lovett in our game, Lovett fumbled on the, on the five-yard line or two-yard line, whatever it was, the first of the game. Well, guess who scored the last touchdown that that basically tied the game up? Yeah. John yeah. Lovett. And, and he wasn't on the field. And when we got down there, he said, put me in, coach, put me in. I'll put it in the end zone. And he made a great run and ran over a guy. To get in the end zone. That he did. Now I, I'm I'm curious, coaches. You make the quarterback change, and and Hogan comes in and takes over. An 18 play drive, 10 minutes yeah. off the clock. A at what point are you thinking, if we don't score, we're going to run the <laughs> clock out on ourselves? I mean, the idea of 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 man, a 10 minute drive, especially in that league is incredible, but at the same time, it, it almost took too much time. Now, granted, you got the fumble on the ensuing kickoff, but were you worried that you were taking too long to get it into the end zone? Well, I knew I knew the great thing about this league is you can you can make nine points on one one touchdown. So, um, and I, I I was telling AJ that whole drive because yeah, I was worried about the time, uh, but we still had timeouts, but. Uh, I was worried about the same thing you're talking about. So I kept telling AJ, make sure you have a three point play ready. Have a three point play ready, you know. And so, uh, and we did. I, I tell you what, there's so much going on, and you, and you're right, Coach. When you watch the game, and and it, things just seem to move really quickly. Uh, was that a, when you first got into this league, and and the and the rules? Was that tough to adjust to the quick decisions that you have to make? Well, it's such a field position game because, like I say, the clock runs so much. It's hard to score a lot of points, uh, no matter how good you are. Although, team we play, Arlington scored 47 last week, but 
but it, it, you know, it's it's a it's a field position, and that's why we have a really good punter. Uh, we have a really good field goal kicker. You know, those things are so important. Uh, and our defense, you know, really played well. So, um, you, you, but there are, yeah, there are a lot of decisions. Just, you know, when to punt it, when to go for on fourth and three or uh, fourth and two, all those things are, are come up quite a bit in, in these games, more so than the NFL, I think, because, again, you only have, uh, you have less possessions. Wade Phillips joining us here on the Blitz, head coach of the San Antonio Brahmas, home this week, finally back in the Dome as they take on the Arlington Renegades. But one more uh, question on uh, on that win last week against Houston. And I know it was personal for you. We talked about that last week. Your excitement afterwards, it, it maybe felt like that one meant a little bit more. After you got the game tied up, you get the fumble and you're, you're sending your kicker out for a 51-yard attempt to win the game. I, I thought that was kind of stretching his his limits. How confident were you that he would make it from that distance? No, uh, actually, there was a win, you know, and and we always, you know, we always uh, check it before the game, you know, which direction. And they they had actually kicked a sixty yarder during the game. Their kicker, you know, they they made a sixty yard field goal, and we felt like he uh, with the win. Uh, 58 was our limit, but we could go up to 58 yards for the field goal. So, um, you know, we felt like it was in his range, and it was. Because, in fact, he kicked it. I mean, if if you go to the replay, I mean, it was w- way up on the goalpost. I mean, he could have. I think he could have made it from 60. I know he could have made it from 58. So, um, no, we just we go by, you know, the uh, pregame and the win and so forth as long as it doesn't change during the game uh as to where we're comfortable and and where where we have confidence in the kicker and uh and he really came through for us too though you know coach you guys are back home and you're playing well obviously five and two record and um in front of the home folks but i tell you what you guys uh, is a battle for your conference uh championship if you will and and besides birmingham who has is yet to lose i mean you guys are right there in the upper echelon when it comes to this league and do you think about that from game to game i mean do you, do you look at the standings and say hey we're we're pretty good oh yeah i mean we're, we're tied for first place with st louis now, st louis beat us the one game the tiebreaker but we get to play them again uh so um yeah, we look at where we are, and you know, the first, the first thing, it's, we have different goals. I mean, we have certain goals. One of them, obviously, first goal is to make the playoff. Second goal is to to win your conference, and then obviously the third goal is to win in the playoffs and, and win it all. So, uh, all of those things are there for us. And you know, with three games left, which uh, you know they couldn't say that last year, so. I, I, you know, we have a really good team. I hope everybody come out and support us. Well, and, and, and again, you, you, you guys are fun to watch. Three o'clock in the Alamo Dome, you get Arlington, a team that you beat, what, 25-15 a couple of weeks ago on the 27th there in Arlington. Now you get them at your place. But you mentioned, you know, they scored 47 last week. You guys didn't give up a touchdown against Houston. All their points were on field goals. You had six sacks. We know how dominant every Wade Phillips defense is, but how did that team score 47 against Memphis last week? Well, they had the best quarterback in the league. I mean, Perez is leading the league in passing percentage. He's leading the league in most yards thrown. He's leading the league in least time sack. He's leading the league. Well, he's thrown two interceptions and 230 passes. Uh, the guy's having a phenomenal year. Now, their team isn't, but, um, but you you can see what they did last week. I mean, uh, they're capable because he's playing great, and it's it's going to be a big challenge uh, for us to stop them. You know, coach, when you look at that and you see a team like Arlington and what they did last week, um, it, do you have to throw out what happened in the last game and just say, hey, this is a new team; they're playing differently and and game plan maybe a little differently for this team? No, it's still matchups. I think. Uh, you know, we, we look at, obviously, we looked at the last game we played, and we know they're going to change some things that they didn't do well against us, and we're going to change some things that 
they did well against us and uh, offensively and defensively and special teams. So, um, you know, it's just a, it's a new chess game. You know, uh, you've already played uh, Casper off one time and uh, you got to try to beat him again. All right. So uh, the, the million dollar question, coach, who's going to start a quarterback Sunday for the Brahmas? Well, Quentin Dormy is their quarterback, so he'll, he'll, he'll start and play and hopefully have a great game, which I think he will. Uh, I really believe it. Uh, he's, he's, he's determined to do really well. And, you know, motivation's uh, a key to a lot of things. And like I said, with Lovett, uh, you know, he was motivated. He fumbled. He was going to he's going to score that touchdown. And I think Quentin has the same kind of attitude. You know, he's motivated that, well, he, you know, he had a bad stretch and he's going to, he's going to come back and, and overcome that. Coach, the guys like, uh, like Dormady, do they, they understand why you did what you did? Well, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And I talked to him about it and he knew, he knew things weren't going well. I mean, I think just, uh, for some reason, for whatever reason, uh, you know, things didn't go well in the passing game. Um, you know, I think he hit like one out of 11 in, in that stretch. And, and, and so, you know, we, we needed to change just, just for him, for his sake, so he wouldn't get overly frustrated. Three weeks in a row on the road, back home in the Alamo Dome this Sunday, 3 o'clock against the Arlington Renegades. TV will be on Fox. Now, Coach, uh, Looking at scenarios, if you guys win and you, I think you need somebody to lose and you actually clinch a playoff spot, is that correct? Yeah, D.C. loses and we win and uh, we're in, in the playoffs. That's awesome. D.C.'s playing, D- DC's playing St. Louis. In Good. fact, they played a game before us, so we'll, we'll kind of know. So, But if D.C. wins, St. Louis loses, uh, and we win, we're, we're in first place by a game, with two games left. So. You know, either way, I think, you know, uh, all right, well, well, we've got to win. All right. So either help way, us, we need to win. help us on knowing how we need to root for that other game. I mean, do, do we want DC to win care. or I St. Don't... Louis? Cause would you guys host a playoff game if, if that's the case? Well, if we win the last three, we host a playoff game, okay. no matter what happens. So, uh, that's our, yeah, that's our first goal is, Hey, yeah, if we win the next three, we win, we win the conference. And and uh, uh, play at home in the playoffs. The reason go. to pack the dome. Pack the dome. The UFL dot com to get your tickets. The UFL dot com. Sunday three o'clock in at the Alamo Dome. It's going to be a great time, Coach. We'll see you down there on Sunday. Always appreciate you joining us here on the Blitz for Wednesdays with Wade. Yeah, you got it. the Blitz is great. I'm all for it. Appreciate you, Wade Phillips, head coach of the yeah. San Antonio Brahmas on the Buyer's Barricades guest line, where they provide traffic control, rental, and sales for San Antonio and beyond online at buyersbarricades.com.